Closures and restrictions from the pandemic have deeply impacted businesses, including those black owned. Kate Houston spoke to the owner of a recently opened Mini Mart about the steps she's taken to support and uplift the black business community. We have a lot of natural care products, so it's for your skin, for your hair. Elena Smith opened Easy Days drive through Mini Mart on Tropicana and Maryland Parkway in December. On one side, the Mini Mart has fresh produce, coffee, and food and drink items. The other side is home to dozens of different products from local black owned businesses. We thought it would be a good idea to offer them a space where they can have an actual storefront and people can come here, buy their products, learn about their products, and they can build their name at the same time that we build ours. The Urban Chamber of Commerce says black owned businesses were hit hard during the pandemic, with many not able to fall back on savings or borrow funds to stay afloat. Joe Cato, a board member with the chamber, says having local businesses support each other will be essential moving forward. If it means that we have to circulate the dollars in our community, that is something that we should be doing, and circulate those dollars to make sure those businesses stay open and they are successful. So I'm all for recycling the black dollars. By highlighting products and clothing from black owned businesses, Smith hopes the money will be put back into the community. We can take that money and put it into schools that will help our children as far as education. We can put it into better health care for our people. We can put it into helping us get housing and counseling. Smith now hopes to build a small kitchen inside the store to offer a place for black owned food establishments to prep and sell their items. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. Very smart ideas there. We'll